Well, Detroit was famous at one time for speedboat, and it's kind of died out. And Garwood, I've known since I've been a kid. I've known him personally, and we found this boat was available. So my son and I decided to keep the boat in Detroit. It was in the process of going to a museum in New York, and we felt the boat belonged to Detroit. Well, do you intend to race it? No, we don't intend to race it. We just want to uh, have something of the old, good old days here in Detroit instead of being gone, just like some of these old cars we have. We like to keep the old era alive yet. What year was this boat built? Uh, if I remember right, this boat was built in about 29 or 30. And Garwood won the Harmsworth Trophy with it? Yes, this boat won the Harmsworth Trophy. Uh, they defended it against K. Don and against uh, Scott Payne. Uh, well, you've had new engines put in since then. Yes, the engine, we found the hull, but we couldn't find the engines. And we hunted all over for engines, but we just couldn't find them. Weren't there 12 uh, stacks on the original engine? Yes, but they had brought all the dirt out in front of you and got it on your face while we're putting it out through the back. Uh, this way we can take four or six people in this boat. How fast will these engines take this boat? We don't know yet, but we know in excess of 70. All right, let's take it for a ride. You want Chuck to drive it? Let Chuck drive it today. He needs a little more experience. Why did you buy and recondition Miss America 9? Well, I like old cars and I like old boats. I've restored about uh, eight or ten boats, but this is the price. Is this a forerunner to today's hydroplanes? This was the forerunner to today's hydroplanes, and I believe also the forerunner to some of the PT boats we had during World War II. Uh, what is some of the history of this boat? It held the world's record in 1930 or 32, uh, better than 120 miles an hour. It defended the Harmsworth Trophy against the English two or three times. And Garwood drove it, didn't he? In the... Garwood and Orlin Johnson. Orlin Johnson was the mechanic, and Garwood paid the bills. And it raced here on the Detroit River, where you're it driving raced, it now. It raced here on the Detroit River. Uh, every Harmsworth race that this boat participated in was on the Detroit River. Is all the boat now original, of the wood and everything in it? Everything is original, the sides, the bottom, the deck, and everything. The only thing isn't original is the instrument panel and the little console. What uh, kind of engines did it have in it originally? It had uh, Packard engines that were developing around 1,400 horsepower. And I remember seeing pictures of the big stacks sticking up. What were they? Well, <clears throat> by having the stacks uh, sticking straight up, uh, you get a little more horsepower, you don't get the back pressure. But we decided not to put the stacks up because we'd get all that grease or dirt or oil in your face. And we made this more of a, uh, not only an antique boat, uh, but uh, one that's usable. What kind of engines are in it now? We have Chevrolet 427 cubic inch uh, L88 blocks. And how much horsepower do they develop? 
Well, with the way we're set here right now, we'll run around 1,100 horses. And how fast will the boat itself go? We don't know. We've had it above 70 a number of times, and we haven't had the boat open. Uh, we haven't experimented with the propellers. We know we well, where did you get the boat? Where did you find Garwood's old boat? Well, you better tell, have Chuck tell you that. Uh, Dad tried to buy the boat four or five years ago, and it wasn't for sale at any price. And the Algonac Lions Club called one day when Dad was in California, and uh, they said the boat's available, but uh, we have a bid on it from a marina syndicate in New York on Lake Champlain. And I said, well, I think it should stay in Detroit. And he said, well, make us a bid. So I made him a bid, $100 more than the other group, and it's now in Detroit to stay. Uh, have you ever raced boats before? Yeah, I've raced outboards, a few inboards. You don't really intend to race this, though, do you? No, this isn't in today's class. This boat's 40 years old. But it's in amazing condition. This wheel, for example, looks suspiciously like a car wheel. Is that the original wheel? That's an original wheel. That's the original wheel Garwood won the world record in uh, Harmsworth races with. And I understand it's off of a Cadillac car. <laughs> well, if uh, this boat were entered in competition, are there any boats like it around to compete with it? No, the new design today is a hydroplane that rides on top of the water, and it's not a displacement boat. This is a displacement boat that sits in the water, rides in the water, with these other boats that you ride on top of the water. How much water does it take to float it? Right now, I'd say two feet. Where we're sitting here is about two feet. And what about when you're running? When we're running, I imagine about, we cut that down about 50 percent. Well, now, on our ride, how fast were we going? Oh, we might have been 65. 65 miles an hour Correct. on land. Now that's pretty fast for any boat, isn't it? Well, there's not too many of them on a river that do 65. 